Uh, next is um, up in this little mini series here is to define what you like as, a, as an art form. Um, so define your aesthetic. Um, my aesthetic that I really love, that I fell in love with, is pixel art. Um, here's some of the pixel art I just made for this little um, platform that rises up into the air. Um, and um, let's look at some more art I made. Here's the initial mock-up art I made for this game. So this character in the, in the middle here is Rock. He's the main character. This is Vel, his partner. And they're actually musicians, and they're, they're inner... This is a sci-fi game. This is your, your friend Jib. Um, but anyways, um, the point of this is that, that I found pixel art and I decided, and I finally decided that I love pixel art so much that I would love to make it. And let me show you some other art I've made. Um, I made this cool, um, well, what I think is cool um, art for, wait, this is, um, we're talking this folder. I've got some art I made for my site. This is kind of a backdrop slash um, my current profile image. And this is just um, a pixel guy I drew. And this is over two sessions. It only took about three hours to make all this art. And the first hour I just kind of worked on the character here and then I added this guy. And then later on I even added some animation. So if you, you probably found me on my website anyways, but on the top of my website, um, it's all animated. This little guy is sitting here. Um, he's, he lifts up his keyboard and it shoots light down light and all that stuff. And I animated this Wizard Foo logo lit recently. So um, the point is um, to define your aesthetic. So how, how I found pixel art was just kind of like I just realized I loved it. So go and look at tons of art and find um, find stuff you like. So. When I was first looking around, I started looking for pixel art and, you know, hop on Google Images or something like that and go until you find something you think is really amazing and and then you're starting to get a feel for what your aesthetic is. So, man, this is these are bad examples. That one's kind of cool. But um, on my Twitter, I'm actually friends with a lot of people that put out a lot of great um, pixel art. So let's let's get in there and actually. Um, oh, then here's a great one. If you're if you're on Twitter, follow Patrice Lamar from at its art mag. I'm telling you, he puts he shares so many great artists. It's amazing. Um, let's scroll down until we find some good pixel art to show you. I mean, a lot of these are great examples. Um, but, oh oh, we want to go look at Pixels Huh. He's one of my favorites. Pixel Saw. Here, here's some of his pixel art. Pixel Saw is amazing. He's from Spain, and he makes all these. Um, uh, here. He makes all of these. He does sketches first, and then he makes these great, awesome scenes. And you check out his website, and he does um, these like time lapse videos of of him making the pixel art. And that is my next point, is that once you've defined your aesthetic, what you like in art, um, the next phase is to start going and soaking up tons of the art um, from your aesthetic. So here's a great example, Pixel Saw. He usually does time lapses. So let's find one of his time lapse videos and I'll start showing you what to what you can see here. These are all these sketches and stuff. and kind of goes through how he did it. And these, these are great things to soak up. Read these articles, start, start learning how people make this art, and you realize it's not that difficult. It's actually really pretty simple. And all great art really is, at its core, very, very simple. And that's, that's a really comforting thing to know, especially when you're a programmer and you get into making this kind of art. Um, let's do Pixels uh, Time Lapse. Time lapse videos are, yeah, these are amazing to watch. Um, and this is a great way to soak up art from your aesthetic because speed, time lapse or speed art, you're not actually spending three hours watching the person make the art. You just are spending, you know, five to 10 minutes watching them speed kind of do it. 
and that will save you a lot of time so you can soak up a lot of the aesthetic and you're also learning a lot as you watch them create this art. So here he's making this tree. See how he just flipped it over to get two sides of the tree? You learn a lot just by watching speed art, or there's two phrases you can look for, speed art or time-lapse art. Um, and just getting into doing this, will you'll learn so much and you'll also, you'll also gain a lot of confidence because you'll realize that it's really not that hard to make art. It takes time. It takes a lot of time actually to make art, especially at first, because at first you're really fumbling with things, you don't know what you're doing, but as you start to grasp the basics, it's, it gets easier and easier and actually way more rewarding and way more fulfilling. So I'll let you guys explore art in whatever form you want to, but um, just know that you can search, go, if you're on YouTube, um, search for um, speed, like if you like pixel art, do speed pixel art. If you like some other kind of art, do speed whatever art. But I'll show you, there's so much speed pixel art out there and there's so much time-lapse art out there. Oh, this is a Ludum Dare game. This guy made is actually really great art. And it's very, very simple. Um, you get into, let's get, skip, like, skip ahead. See what I mean? This is a pretty simple style. It's a game where you, you, uh, you kind of harvest all, not harvest, but, like, you take all these sheep and you get them up higher and higher up this, like, thing. Um, so, yeah. That's how you would go and define and explore your aesthetic.